Hi guys, today's workout is going to be a quick workout for cardio core. So you're gonna have a cardio exercise and a core exercise and in between it'll be something different like maybe a compound exercise, upper and lower body in between. So we're gonna get in and get out and work that whole body, keep that heart rate up. So this will be a nice metabolic burn for a post-workout. So let's get started with the warm up, march it out. Tap and reach it up. So you just need a set of dumbbells today, swing those arms. Keep that chest up, abs are in nice and tight. Hamstring curl, reach and pull. You wanna get that body nice and warm from head to toe. Step touch, same arms. Little jump rope in place right here. Nice and light on the feet, just warming up the calves a little bit. Four more. Knee lifts, right and left, right here, pull back. Abs are nice and tight. If you want a little kick here, it doesn't have to be that high, we're just warming up. In eight more, we're gonna do a kick and a squat. Getting a little deeper. Here we go. Kick, squat. Now you can do a knee as well. Hips are coming back. Arms are up. Hope everybody's having a great day. This is going to be a fun workout. Lots of cardio, lots of core. Some upper and lower body. Can't get better than that. Hold it down, pulse. Hips are back. We're gonna do three pulses and a jump. One, two, three. Just a little jump. Remember, you don't wanna lock out anything. The downward movement starts the upward movement. Two more. Last one. Give me some lunges, nice and easy, punch it down. Preparing that body for what's to come. Four more. Give me a little football run right here. Stay light in the feet. Take it out and in. Four more, four, three, two. Let's go back to that march right here. Good. We're gonna do some rear lunges, just alternating, getting that hip flexor a little warmer. Four more. Rear lunge, here we go. Knee over the heel. Let's bring those arms up and down. Up, up, up. So I'll give you modifications for everything. It's gonna be fast paced and fun. Four more. Three, two, jack it out right here. Now, if you don't like full jumping jacks, just tap out to the side. Anytime we're doing something with both feet jumping, you can always do it single. Keep that in mind. Upright row with the arms. Do a light skater here. Getting that heart rate up. Rounding out that warm up. March it out. We're just gonna get that body a little warmer in a plank position. So we're gonna take the feet apart, 
bend the knees, walk it out, come out to a plank, walk it in and up. So just do this a few times, getting those wrists ready for what's to come, getting the core ready for what's to come. Because this is a core-based workout, we will be in plank for quite a bit of it. Let's do one more. And bring it up. March it out. All right, we're gonna do side lunges, warming up that inner thigh a little bit more. So you can side and side. Now, if you want, reach the floor and reach it up. But you want to bend the knee to get down there to the floor. If that's too much, just come down wherever you can. That's fine. These bigger movements are going to get the heart rate up a little bit. Chest up. Two more. And march it out. All right, grab some water real quick. Whenever you need it, little sips, but try to keep that body moving. Have your water and a towel ready to go whenever you need it. First round, first cardio. All right, we're just gonna do some skaters here. And then we'll make it a little harder. I just want to get that heart rate up a little bit more. All right, are we ready to go? We're going to do shuffle, shuffle, drop. We really want to drop those hips down. Here we go. Shuffle, shuffle, drop. Shuffle, shuffle, drop. Shuffle, shuffle, drop. Shuffle, shuffle, drop. Shuffle to and drop, shuffle to and drop, shuffle to and drop. Now you can go at your own pace here. Get that heart rate up. Drop it down. As you get warmer, try to go a little deeper. Make sure those heels are down, hips are back. Get that engine going. Woo! Four, three, two, and one. Good job, get your waist. All right, so this is our in-between. So we're gonna do a compound exercise, then we'll do some core, and we'll start it all over again. All right, we're gonna do a sumo squat and an upright row. Weights are gonna face your legs. You have a wide turnout, so your chest is up, upright row. Chest is up. Now, if you want to, you can go one at a time. That's fine too. Now, I have a set of tens, but you can get something you like to work with. That's a challenge. Sumo squats are great. Chest is up, legs are a little wider. Working that chest, shoulders, abs. It's really full body. Woo. Let's do a few more here. Three, two, and one. Put them down with control. Good job. We're going to come down to our mat. We're going to do a core exercise, one of my favorites. You're going to be in a high plank, and we're going to bring the knee to the outside of the upper arm, alternating with control. Good 
So these core exercises are also going to be getting the heart rate up. Keep your hands underneath your shoulders. This is great for the whole core area, particularly the obliques and the lower abs. I love these. Try not to drop your head. Triceps, that whole upper body was working too. All right, moving on to another cardio. All right, we're gonna do some squat jumps here. These are just great because you can do the lower high impact. You're gonna reach the floor and jump up. So it's down and up. Breathe, nice soft landing. So if you don't want to jump, no problem. From the side, should have told you I was going from the side. Chest is up. Woo! You can also do one arm at a time. Jump it up. Make it your own. Using your legs to get you to the floor. Breathe. Four, three, two, one. March it out. Good job. Woo. We're going to pick up one weight. All right, we're going to do a snatch or a clean and press and an in and out with the feet. So you're going to put that weight down between your feet, grab it with one hand, go down for it. Clean and press, in and out. We're gonna alternate the arm. Now this is a little slower paced, but it's gonna keep that heart rate up. So there's lots of control on the clean and press. The palm starts out facing you, and then it faces me. Getting a little inner thigh with that drop squat. And a little cardio. Keep your chest up. Keep your abs in tight. Woo. Now if it's too much with the drop squat, just do the alternating clean and press. That's fine too. Let's do three more. One more. Woo! Put those weights to the side. All right. We're gonna bring it down for our core exercise on our back this time. We're gonna just do reverse curls. Hands behind your head, lift the chest. We're just gonna crunch and curl. Now, Try not to swing the legs here. Use your abs to lift the hips up. Notice my head, neck, and shoulders are staying lifted. So I'm not bringing my head down and my hands are nice and light. Try not to swing those legs. Now we're gonna do a little challenge here. We're gonna do a repeater. We're just going to do lots of reps of just the hip lift while keeping the chest up. So hold the chest up and now lift and lower the hips. Notice I'm not swinging the legs. You want the power to come from the core. Now do these as quick as you can, but very controlled. Try to keep your head up, keep the upper abdominal region engaged here. This is going to get the heart rate up a little bit too. Try not to swing those legs. Woo! 
keep going. Bring your shoulder to your knee. You get a little oblique here. Other side. Hips are still coming up to the center. Other side. Other side. And bring it to center. Last four, three, two, and one. Bring it up. Woo. Good job. So we got two rounds in. We're ready for another round. And check the time. Good, good deal. All right. We're gonna go for cross mountain climbers. But we're also gonna put it together with a football run. So it's one of my favorites. So you're gonna be up and down a lot. So you're gonna do a football run. You're gonna come down, cross mountain climber. Come up, football run. Come down, cross mountain climber. It's about four of each. You can break it however you want. Stay on your toes. You can jump it back with both feet, or you can jump with that one foot at a time. Just keep it fast paced. Some are gonna be better and faster than others. Keep your hands under your shoulders. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Let's do one more. Cardio, but that's core. That's my core element. That was pretty much cardio. Woo! All right. Grab both weights. All right. Bicep curl with a curtsy squat. So we're gonna do a hammer curl. Step back to the side first. Here we go. Now these are slow. Very controlled. Now, if you want, you can bring those palms up for a few, palms in for a few. Back heel is up, hips are facing front. Keep those elbows close into the side. Breathe. Lift with your bicep, keep your hands relaxed, feeling the glutes. Everything here, total body compound. Definitely those biceps. Notice that heart rate's up. We really don't give it a chance to come down too much. Woo! Squeeze, feel those glutes. A little inner thigh here too. Let's do one more. Put those weights down. Actually take one weight. We're gonna be in a side plank for this one on your elbow, and you're gonna need that weight. So you're on your elbow. To make it easier, be on your knees and lift the hips. To make it harder, extend the legs and stack, or take the top leg forward. Bring that weight in. Let's just come to the position first. We're gonna be in that side plank. Make sure that the elbow stays under the shoulder. You're gonna keep your hips in this position. You're gonna feel the oblique. You're gonna bring the weight up. And just down, we're not resting it on the floor. We have about 12 of these. Keep your head up. Don't let your shoulder collapse. Don't let your head collapse. Woo. You're holding the hips in one position. Stability. Pull that navel in. I think I lost count. I think we have four more. Four. Three. These are tough because you're working that upper body too. And that heart rate's up. One more. Bring it down with control. Woo. Before we go to the other side, we're just going to do in and outs for the obliques because we're focusing on the obliques now. So your hands are back just nice and light. You're gonna shoot the legs in, coming side to side. 
Your hands are very light. Just hitting the obliques before we go to the other side. You don't have to lean back too much. Four, three, two, and one. Heart rate's still up, notice that. We're gonna go to the other side. Remember, try to be even on both sides. So if you were on your knees the other side, be on your knees here, and then gradually build up to those higher intensities with maybe extending the legs or staggering. So this is my weaker side, and I'm gonna try it where I was on the other side. So we're gonna come up first, set it up, hand on your weight, Remember we have 12. So you're not moving those hips. Remember to listen to your body. So if you need to stagger or go to your knees, go ahead. You're still working. Make sure the core is pulled in tight. How are we doing? Try not to sink. Keep your head up. I think we have two more. Last one. Bring it down. Come on up. Woo. Keep the body moving. We're going to go into another round. Let's see what we have time for. I try to keep these workouts to about 40, 45 minutes. It's all you need when you're working at this intensity. Of course, you can bring it shorter you can get anything done in a short amount of time something is better than nothing all right so for this one we're gonna do something with dumbbells so we're gonna do a pull and then a half burpee so it's like a row so we're gonna get our dumbbells you're gonna be in low you're gonna row and then out so this is our cardio. Whew. Now, we're gonna do a little finisher here because I don't want you using the dumbbells the whole time. But you can keep your hands on the dumbbells. One more. And we're gonna just do the in and out. Just the in and out. Now, if you want, you can tap. This is fine. Hands under your shoulders. Come on, finish it. Three, two, and one. Woo! Good job. Nice work. Here's our in-between. Woo! All right. We're gonna do a squat with an overhead press, one dumbbell. We're gonna add a side leg lift here too to make it a little bit more challenging to incorporate more muscles. Feet apart, weight and heels, squat, overhead press lift. Again, these are a little slower. We're gonna concentrate on our form. Woo. Breathe. Hope you guys are liking this format. It's really cardio the whole time, but we're mixing in some strength and these compound moves are a great way to keep that heart rate up. Go down a little deeper if you can. Use your legs to help assist bringing the arms up overhead. Notice I'm not leaning. Keep your shoulders over your hips. The downward movement starts the upward movement. One more each side. Last one, 
bring it down. Good job. Woo. Nice work. All right. Core. Let that heart rate recover because we're going to go down to the mat again. Looking good. This one, we're going to do crab kicks. So we're going to be seated. Your abs are tight. Your feet are down. Your hands are behind you, right under your shoulders. We're going to lift the hips up. We're going to alternate tapping the leg. Try to keep a focal point. You can look at me when you need to, but you will get off balance. Make sure you're not here. Lift that chest. So we're going to alternate tapping. Now, if it's too much with a straight leg, do a bend knee. Tap the outside to get a little bit more rotation for your obliques, or you can just tap straight on. Notice those triceps are working too. Ooh, I can't look at the camera or I'll lose my balance. Keep a good pace here. Spread those fingertips to take the pressure off the wrists and the palms. Keep your core in tight. Four, three, two, and one. Come down right away. Quick hundred. Legs up. Reach the fingertips long. We're going to breathe in and out for 100 pumps. I'll keep track of the pumps. Just breathe in and out. You can breathe in four, out four. Legs can be up. As you get warmer, you can bring the legs down. But you want to make sure your hips are down and your back is flat. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two, three, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, halfway there. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, sixty. Seven, one, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's breathe in, breathe out. Pump the arms strong, head and chest lifted. Almost there, pick it up if you want. Roll it out, breathe in and out. I think we did more than 100. Bring it in, come on up. Those are awesome. It's Pilates base. You can breathe in for five, out for five, in for 10, out for 10. Make it your own. Pump those arms. You're gonna feel that core. The back is nice and flat. Those are great. And after those reaches, it was even tougher. All right, we're gonna go back to a cardio exercise. All right. This one is going to be no weights, just body weight. So we're gonna do 180 degree turns. So we're going to be switching side to side. You can do a football run like this, keeping the arms close to me. That way you'll get that oblique in and stay on your toes. All right. So we're going to reach the floor. We're going to take the other side. Now, as we go, if you want a little more, bring the arms up. We're going to be here for a little while. So you want to work smart. You want to be able to finish the interval. These cardios are about 45 seconds to a minute. So whenever you need a break, come here. That way you're still working, but you're not giving up. This is strong right here. Keep going. Hips are back. It's working the core to switch both legs at the same time. Four, three, two, one. Woo! Good job. All right. Compound again. Legs and upper body and core. Pick up your weights. 
our palms facing each other. We're gonna do a deadlift, row for three, and come up. One, two, three, up and down. One, you can take more of a bend in the knee if you like. One, two, three, up, down. Hinging at the hip, palms are facing each other. Weights just coming down in line with the shoulders. Now I want you to use your back to lift the weights. Push into the floor with your heels. Keep your core tight, feel those hamstrings, glutes and low back. In addition to upper back, a lot going on here. Heart rate should still be up. I like doing three rows, a little more upper body focus while that lower body is burning. One more. Last one. Bring it up. Good job. Take those weights down. Woo. Good work. All right. Core. We're going to bring it down to our mat again. You're going to hold it here. You're going to be in a high plank. Now, you're going to bring your right foot to your right hand. Switch. Working our core, hold, switch, hold, so you're dropping the hips down, that heart rate's going to be up, getting a nice stretch too, in that hip flexor, you're also working that upper body, Now we're going to pick this up for a few seconds, if you want, and switch every time. These are hard. Last set. Upper body burning, core is burning. Last one. Roll those shoulders. So there's always that little burner at the end. Woo! Good job. Now you're probably like, okay, that felt like cardio, which it was. We have another cardio coming up. Woo! So. Remember, remember that one we did with the clean press? Instead of an in-out, we're going to do a half burpee. So you're still going to have one weight. These are one of my favorite total body cardio exercises. So I'm going to do it from the side. So we're going to put the weight down, clean and press, pick it up with the other hand, just like we did before. From the front again. So you can see the upper body position and the knees. Hands are always under your shoulders. Woo. Breathe. push-up. Let me check my time. 
We are good. All right. Hands close together. I like to do these on my knees. Hands under your shoulders. Abs are nice and tight. We're gonna try to keep those hips down. Down for two. And up. Try to lead with the chest. You're feeling a little bit more tricep than anything else. Don't drop the head. Hold your head up in line with your spine. Abs are tight, elbows coming back. We're working the tricep. Two more. Then we get a stretch back really quick. Stretch it back quickly, we're not done yet. Come forward, little stretch. All right, get back in position. We're gonna do down three, up one. We're almost there. Here we go. Down, two, three, up. Same position as before with the head, neck, and shoulders and the hands. Keep those hips down. Keep length in the neck, shoulders down. Woo, my triceps are burning. Heart rates up. Four more. Three. Two more strong. Last one. Sit back for a quick stretch. Woo. All right, come on up. Woo. Take a little break here. All right. Nice job. We're gonna come down again. Just want you to stretch it out a little bit. We're gonna do sit outs. This is your core, heart rate's gonna be up a little bit. So on the sit out, your hand's gonna be under. You're gonna tap your knee or your toe or the floor. So these are slow. You start out here, you bring your feet in a little bit. One heel goes down and you're gonna take it side to side. I like to tap the floor, but you can tap your toe. If it's too much for a straight leg, tap your knee. Tap your knee. You should feel that core light up here. Hope you guys can see me. One heel goes down. Three more, two more, last one, oh, bring it in, woo, woo, all right, good job, all right, one more round, quick, cardio, upper lower body compound, core, cool down, sound good? All right, three skaters and a one foot burpee. If you don't want to do the one foot burpee, don't do it. You can do three skaters and a jump. You can do three skaters and just stand. You can just do the skaters. Let's knock it out of the park here. So we're gonna start with just skaters. You can absolutely stay here. Now I'm gonna do three with a jump. One, two, three, Jump. One, two, three. Next one's the burpee. One, two, three. One foot burpee. Two, three. So you bring the opposite knee into the chest. And you're coming up really using that glute because you're coming up on one leg. One, two, three. These are tough, but you can do it. 
Last round. Woo! How about one more? One, two, three. Woo! Woo! Good job. All right, breathe. All right, one weight. We're gonna do a rear fly with a step back. Compound, keeping that engine running. All right, the same leg goes back as the arm going to the side. So, now you're really not doing a lunge, you're just stepping back. So it's step and switch. Step, switch. Switch hands. Step, switch. Now this is a little harder because your core has to really work here to stay balanced. So take your time. You're putting that heel down behind you. It's just a little bit of a hinge with a step back. I want to make sure you guys can see me. You're keeping your chest lifted. So this is a rear delt fly or a back fly. So you really want to feel that upper back and the outside of your shoulder. Remember, you're focusing more on form here. Don't worry, that heart rate will stay up. We're working multiple muscles here. Lots of control in the core. Last one. You're gonna grab that other weight. Little bonus set here. Hinge at the hip, knees are bent. We're gonna do two sets of eight. So 16 of these, both arms. Try not to move your back. Here we go. You can still alternate if you like. One set down, one to go. Heart rate should be way up if those weights are heavy enough to feel that challenge. Two more. Put those weights down, awesome. All right, we have core. So we're going to combine a little core with total body. So you're going to come down to your mat, you're going to grab your weight, sorry about that. Now we're going to do rows, you can do these on your knees or in a full plank. You want to make sure you put your hand down right underneath your shoulder. I'm going to start out on my toes, but then I'm going to probably go to my knees. All right. I like to have my feet a little wider. Your hips may go up a little bit here. Do your best to keep them down. Remember, use your back to lift the weight. Keep your hips as stable as you can. These are hard. Use your back to lift the weight, not your hand. Eight more. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Quick little break here. Ooh. All right. Last exercise, we're just gonna combine a push-up and we're gonna do one pull at a time. I'm definitely gonna do these on my knees. Feel free to do them on your toes again. This is again, one of my favorites. To mix it up a little bit, we're gonna have a different grip. So the palms are gonna face your legs. We don't have too many of these. Hips down. All right, so we're gonna do a push-up, and then a right row. Then a push-up and a left row. We just changed the grip a little bit on the row. 
So your core has to work really hard here to balance and to stay balanced. So when you lift that weight, your hips are down like headlights. Your shoulders are away from your ears on the push-up. Working everything here. This is it, guys. This is it, I promise. Woo. Let's do four more. Four. You can always take that child's pose. Two more. Woo. Core's in tight pass one. Woo. Sit back and stretch. Uh, come forward. Lift the heart. Feels good on your abs. Get a little extension here. Good work. All right. Put those weights to the side. Nice job. Ooh, grab some water if you need it. We're going to do the most important part, cooling down a little bit. Ooh. That's one of my favorite formats to do. We really kept that heart rate elevated the whole time. And we did a lot of cardio. We did a lot of core. But we also incorporated some upper body and lower body in a nice, fast-paced format. Lots of options here too. So feel free to take those modifications. All right. Whew. Let's stop those feet. Take the feet apart. Take them nice and wide here. Hands on your hips, keeping your chest up. We're just gonna take it side to side nice and slow. I'd like to do some slow kind of flow movements and then we'll take it statically and stretch everything out. You guys did awesome. Let's hold it to this side and you can go as deep as you want. Let your body be your guide. If your heart rate's still elevated, keep your head above your heart. If you feel like you want to go down a little deeper, do that. You can take that toe up there, feel a little stretch in the inner thigh. Take it to the other side. Come back to center, deep breath up. Exhale, one more time. Exhale. Walk those feet in. We're gonna stretch out the hamstrings. I'm just gonna change this music a little bit. You're gonna take your right heel forward. Hold it. Stretching out that hamstring. Hips are up. I always forget that song's on there near the end. I have to switch that. Now if you want to go down and hold that toe in, that's fine too. Your chest is up. So you really want to feel that hamstring. Switch sides. You keep going with your stretch. I'm going to try to find some slow music. So. Hope you guys enjoyed today's workout. Remember to take it down if you need to. Woo. Breathe. All right, we're gonna come up. I like to say during this stretching time of the workout, you're really taking in all the benefits of your workout. Take a deep breath up with a nice flat back down and then roll it up. Give me a shoulder roll. Do that again. Big shoulder roll. Inhale. Exhale, flat back. Roll it up. Big shoulder roll. Just opening everything up. Shoulder roll, hold the shoulder roll back. Lace the fingertips. Now at the same time, you're gonna take one heel back and stretch out the lower part of your leg. Lift the arms up a little higher. Feet together, take a big deep breath up. Fold over both legs and roll it up. 
bring your hands to your heart. Take that other leg back. This time, lace the fingertips in front and open up the back, close the chest up. So you're feeling that stretch, I probably have that same leg back. <laughs> Make sure you got the other leg back. Rounding a little bit here, but pressing into that back heel. So we're just opening up the back here, closing up that chest a little bit. Kind of the opposite of that last stretch. Both arms, big deep breath up, feet together. Exhale, fold over your legs. Roll it up, inhale. Bring it down again. This time you're gonna cup the elbows and just let yourself hang. If you want to bend the knees here, you can. Just feel that length in your back. You take this side to side. Drop it down, inhale up. Hands to your heart. Inhale up. Exhale, hands to heart. Have a great day, everybody. I hope you enjoyed today's workout. And if you give me any feedback, I could definitely do some other workouts. Just give me some notes in the comments or message me on Facebook. Take care. Have a great day.